Hey yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another BlackSwanRadio.com production. You're listening to Art Talk right here on BlackSwanRadio.com. I'm your host, Rondell L. Jordan. And this is your space for worldview conversation and flight music. This is where I encourage you to go above and beyond and explore the world and the wonderful word of the Most High call God because I believe the word is access to the world you gotta have knowledge right in order to have the power the faith you know the content right and so you know today's food for thought you know is it has to do with the Lord's perspective versus the slave's perspective. You know, there's a difference between knowledge and belief that often goes, you know, unexplored. And I think it's very, very, very important for you to understand the difference because. You know Most people get stuck in the stage of belief Right But would you say God knows Or God is a believer Right You know what I mean If someone You ask someone a question And they say I believe so It's it's not definitive It's an undefinitive answer It leaves Some room for I could be wrong And that's the problem with believers It's not disrespect It's just facts That if you don't know What happens is You go into a state of cognitive dissonance to prove your point And it's very clear Once a person has a conversation With a believer Me, myself I respect faith I respect believers I, I believe you can believe for yourself Whatever you want The only difference is Is when you start trying to Get others Right You're trying to lead people to believe What you believe Specifically You're trying to lead me to believe What you believe Right And so therefore You have to then now answer questions Now if you can't answer questions And you get frustrated See that's cognitive dissonance Now you're starting to go personal Or get personal You feel attack Or begin to attack You start going off You start to move the benchmark You start doing all of the shame Guilt, insult Need to be right Sign language When You know I like to deal with f Facts Things that you can that we can all relate to So for an example If I said In Genesis 5.5 5, It says So all the days of Adam lived Were 930 years And he died He actually lived Longer Than almost everybody With the exception of Noah And One other character That we need to really look at But his name is Matthew Shaela He's mentioned in Genesis 5 27 He's actually um, Was supposed to be the one Who begot Lamech <laughs> Which is very very It's designed to confuse you Which we really need to get There's a difference between begot and, beget, uh, and bore but Lamech was already begotten by the offspring of Cain in 
Genesis 4 verses 18 where it says Enoch was born Irad and Irad begot Meth- Methusel and Methusel begot Methusel and Methusel begot Lamech. So if you notice these characters both have names that are very closely related but the wor- letters have been changed. So instead of Methusel A E L it's Methusel S H L I A H same letters just rearranged <laughs> and this is because we're talking about the god of confusion Seth the son of Seth and this is proving to you that they're using Egyptian what we call Egyptian in the, in the Greek word but comedic deities or science comedic science that's embedded in these scriptures but people don't really know you understand so we can go into more I mean that's the thing about this is this these conversations this goes on and on and on into all types of different avenues and they're very fascinating because Enoch walked with God right and Enoch lived uh 365 days or excuse me 365 years just like we have 365 days in this in our calendar right so uh it's very very important and we can go a lot of uh, down a lot of different routes but the real reason why we're here is um i was showing you uh a lot of these poetic nuances that you have to look, you have to actually see for yourself, right? In Genesis 5, it says that in verse 2, it says, He created them male and female and blessed them and called them mankind in the day that they were created. That is, again, the third time, or actually the second of the three times that. Genesis 1 is 127 is quoted having to do with the males and females right so the trinity is confirmation when things are done in threes you'll notice that this a pattern that started out in the beginning and created made and formed you know even there's a difference between you know God Lord God and Lord that people overlook that's another holy trinity there's uh mother f- uh father mother and become one flesh that's part of it saw eyes and wise now what i'm exposing this to you right now it says in genesis 3 5 for god knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And that's if you're reading the New King James Version, because in the King James Version, it says you will be as God's lowercase G-O-D-S, which is a very subtle but very significant change in meaning, which lets you know how alterations have made a huge impact just one small alteration between the uppercase g and the lowercase g and a lot of different alterations were made in the beginning where it says now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the lord god had made originally it said now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made so you have to ask yourself well why did that you change the word subtil and put cunning in. Well, cunning demonizes the character in your mind before you even get to make your own decision about was the character right or wrong? Was the character in the story who's called the serpent, was it cunning? And if it had goddess after serpent, so the serpent goddess, if that was put in there, would it now add credibility? 
So to take away the goddess part and put cunning there takes away credibility and demonizes the character in your mind. Now the serpent in comedic cultures that ended up in the what we call Egyptian or the comedic culture, it began in Punt and Kush. Right? It's a Nubian tradition. And the serpent, which was called the Uraeus, Ure, as in the Uraeus or uterus. All right. It is the symbol that was used to represent the divine female because she is the gateway to eternal life. Right. She is the center focus. This is the reason why it was worn into center of the crown chakra, just like the just like the Indian people wear the red dot in the center of their crown chakra. The Uraeus, which is also known as Wajet, representing the divine female, right? Specifically known as the Eye of Ra, right? The counterpart to the to the chief deity, right? Of the all the gods, Ra. This is where the story of the son of Ra comes from. And this rela relationship is the reason why she's associated with Eve. Not only with Eve, but also the fig tree. Because in the Nile River cultures, the women would gather under the fig tree for shade and the heat. And we know what women do. They gossip. They they do crafts. They prepare f the foods. They do things. But as they're doing it, they're gossiping. Women talk. Chatter. They discuss knowledge. Wisdom. So you have to put the African culture back into the context to really, really understand what these stories are telling you. But it says, God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God or originally as God's knowing the good and evil. Of course, if you why would you want this to know the good and not the evil? In order to be self-sufficient, to be like God, God don't believe he's not a believer. God knows. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desire will make one wise. Third eye is wisdom. So there's the Uraeus, the eye of Ra, the uterus, the woman, the serpent, because the serpent, it consumes life like the sperm, the womb consumes life. And it also regurgitates it as well. If it can't fit. Something's wrong It regurgitates So life goes in And life comes out Of the serpent Just like Life goes in And life comes out Of the womb And if you see the, A part of the crown Is the sun So if you look at The eye of Ra You'll notice That it's the serpent and That swallowed The sun In the belly Of the serpent Is the sun And that is What is that's the top That's the crown of the chief deity Which is represented by The peregrine falcon Ra because he oversees Just like the peregrine falcon Can fly high And as fast as any Any animal on the, on the, on the planet And knock him out of the air With a strike <laughs> You see the metaphor It has in Impeccable eyesight. It can hit a target over what 200 miles per hour. Strike him and hit it with his feet. Knock it straight out. There's a reason for every.